Stretch your tax dollars at National Furniture Liquidators. We know you work hard for your money, so buy, pay more. The lowest prices on furniture, like five-piece bedroom sets, three eighty-eight, four eighty-eight, five eighty-eight. Rustic pub table, two stools and vents, four hundred and eighty-eight dollars. A reclining sofa or love seat, your choice, just six eighty-eight. Thousands of items in stock, so you can buy today and have it tonight. Great financing options, regardless of your credit, with up to three years no interest financing. National Furniture Liquidators. When it comes to value, quality, and selection, nobody beats Shorty. Do you have a need for speed? Then come fly with us. At 1 million bits of data per second, we will have your internet there faster. TBTC has the speed, the security, and the professionals who care about you. Let TBTC fill your need for speed today. Alamo iNews, brought to you in part by the White Sands Mall, open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. till 9 p.m. Sunday, from 12 noon till 6 p.m. Hello, I'm Scott Christie with Alamo iNews. The Take Back the Night Alamogordo March and Rally will take place on April 8th from 6 to 9 p.m. at the Taste Center at NMSUA. Take Back the Night is a nonprofit organization that, according to their website, seeks to end sexual assault, domestic violence, dating violence, sexual abuse, and all other forms of sexual violence. There will be local exhibitors on hand with information about sexual and domestic violence. The event is free and open to the public. For more information on the event, you can email tbtnalamogordo at gmail.com. We interviewed Edward Pruitt with the local epilepsy support group. Here is that interview. Hello, my name is Edward Pruitt. I'm the volunteer for the Epilepsy Foundation for the Alamogordo area. And we are having a support group each month on the third Saturday of the month at the Gerald Champion Regional Medical Center in conference rooms three and four. What we do there is we let people express themselves. We help each other out. It's an open conversation to where anybody can talk about having epilepsy or seizures and we tell people whatever is said in the room stays in the room and all we do is just listen to people give our support for them and let them know that they're not alone because i've had many people tell me that they feel like they're the only ones that have epilepsy but there are about 65 million people worldwide that have epilepsy and three million of them are here in the united states we give support to the family because the person that has epilepsy isn't the only one affected by it the whole family is it affects everybody because I've seen parents that um, don't even get much sleep because they're sleeping outside their children's bedroom doors and what we try to do is give them a peace of mind that they don't have to do that anymore that they do have a life even though the doctors tell them they cannot do certain things there's still a life out there for them to have if you or somebody that you know has epilepsy and would like to visit our support group you can and you can also visit our Facebook page the White Sands Mall management released a public service announcement Please do not drive or park behind the White Sands Mall. We are replacing the roof, clearing out the arroyo of brush and debris, and we'll be working on fixing the pavement on the south end as well. We expect to have the roof work completed within the next six months. We appreciate your help in keeping everyone safe. Thank you for your patience as we work hard to improve the White Sands Mall. The Flickinger Center for Performing Arts will be hosting Jazz in the Alley on March 31st from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. The event will take place in the alley behind the Flickinger. Music will be performed by the house band, the Flickinger's very own big band. The event is free to the public. Here's an AIN sports interview we think you will enjoy. I'm Robin Hastings and I'm uh, part of the Rio Grande Soaring Association. We're in Alamogordo, New Mexico, in what us pilots call Cox Field. 
It is a large landing zone that the city has very generously let aviation enthusiasts use for drones, for model rocketry, and for hang gliding and paragliding launches and landings. We have a superb site here. It is nationally, even world renowned, and the site is called Dry Canyon. It's right behind me off in the distance up on those mountains. Hang gliding is actually an activity over a century old. The Wright brothers were hang glider pilots before they put a motor on their hang glider and turned it into an airplane. I and my friend Bill Cummings here have been flying for 30, 40 years and it is just an astounding, exhilarating sport. If you're interested, but you say, oh, I can't do that, I'm afraid of heights. You're the person I want to talk to. You have to be at least a little bit afraid or you're not going to take it seriously. The amazing thing is, remember, I'm afraid of heights too, standing at the edge of a cliff and going, whew, that's a long way down. But when you launch that hang glider, in your mind, you know, the more altitude I have, the safer I am. The more time I have to get out a parachute if I need it. I've never needed my parachute. I don't even know what color it is. But your body knows that you're safe. You're suspended. You're being supported by the hang glider. You're flying. The scenery is 2,000 feet below you, and it's just beautiful background scenery. And to contact us, we are on the internet. You can go to Rio Grande Soaring Association. So if you would love to experience flight as a bird does, hang gliding and paragliding may be the sports for you. And now, here's a look at the AIN Spotlight. That's it for AI in this week. Thanks for watching. Be sure to watch us on social media and of course Roku.